All right, welcome back, guys. And this time we're gonna tackle Castle Colditz on very hard difficulty. Let's go. In a small town in eastern Germany, on the top of a hill surrounded by the river Mulde, rises the most impregnable fortress of the Third Reich, Colditz Castle. Now converted into a prison, it houses, as well as some high-ranking military personnel, those Allied prisoners who have tried to escape from other camps. Kolditz is considered by the Germans a Zonderlager, a maximum security prison. Kolditz is the pride of the German penitentiary system, reputedly escapable. For the Allied prisoners, the only way to leave Kolditz is to die. One in position. Pull in position. Three in position. Four in position. Okay, guys. Remember that once inside the castle, we mustn't set off the alarm or they'll kill our comrade. We have to get the three parts of the secret plan he was trying to steal, which led to his capture. Okay. The plan is encoded in three different parts. First, there is an encrypted document which is in Major General Rudolph's possession. It comprises several sheets filled with numbers that appear to mean nothing. Secondly, the code template has been hidden by General Heinz. It is a template sheet with holes punched into it. It will only display the numbers of interest when placed over the encrypted document. Finally, we need the code book to decipher the text of the plan. It is kept by Field Marshal Desfell. Remember that if we set off the alarm, they will not only kill our friend, but will also destroy all the documents. Okay, men. If we ever needed perfection, it's today more than ever before. This is what we do. Let's do it for our friend. All right, and so we start the mission. Which is an understatement to say that this one is complex. Like, if you go through the level, the outer areas might seem like pretty standard affair. But the castle, we're talking about a huge castle here. M multiple levels, multiple floors. There's even a river flowing in which you can dive in. So the problem is going to be not uh, actually succeeding, but being able to see the enemies and our fellow commandos because the buildings are going to be obscuring them like most of the time and also it gets quite complex once you get inside the castle there are multiple rooms in each floor so it's gonna be a hassle just to uh track down our objectives in any case the good thing being uh in this level you do not need to be like kill everybody like we did in the previous episodes we can just be laser focused and just go for the objectives right away so let's go through them, first of all. Rescue the thief from certain death without setting off the alarm. He is located in the uh, base level inside the castle. So as soon as you enter the castle, you're going to come face to face with this hit squad here, with this death squad. And this is the reason why we cannot set off any alarms until we save the thief. Right, so uh, that is priority number one. Hold on, let me read the next objective. The code template has been hidden by General Hein. Now, this is a uh, three-part thing you need to find. The code template, the code book, the encrypted plan. They're kept by uh, three different key personalities of the German army, I guess, in different rooms. No really need to uh, go over them one by one. We're going to do that once we're inside the castle. Secondary, nothing. There's going to be a few more objectives. Ah... Uh, presenting themselves once we manage to do these three but first things first we need to rescue the thief so the key man for this mission at least in my uh play style is gonna be the spy the first objective is going to be find a german uniform so what we're gonna do there's a patrol going around here you're gonna see there's a lot of enemies 
Not much you can do, but there is the lone officer hanging here. You cannot see him because he's obscured by the building. And he is not easy to get to, but the easiest to get to, so... Finished. Where is the patrol right now? Yeah, they found me. <laughs> that was a bit silly. Hold on. Let's let the patrol pass. That's what I, what I told you. You cannot really see what's going on half the time. Like, there's a patrol. Finished. Right, so now, I think I can actually follow them closely. Like, these guys, fortunately, are uh, facing the other direction. So I can just simply stand up and just walk behind them. This is part this is mostly this is the most key part for my pa for my plan. You need to get a officer's uniform right away. Oh hold on. That was not very carefully executed. Let's run that again. Finish. I should probably quick save a few times. And maybe even, maybe I should even wait over here while these guys make the runs. Oui. Yes, that's probably what I should do. Let's <laughs> stuck here behind cover for a while. This is kind of a blind spot here, this little corner. That patrol is going to go up ahead and do a full circle here. And as soon as they get out of my, uh, out of my vision cone, I'm going to try and sneak in this way. But I need to do this crouch, which is going to take a lot of time. Thus, I need to wait the patrol for the patrol to go away. Let's keep an eye on the last guy. We, now we should be good now. I hold it. We. Oui. Now switch the the vision. You can see there is a very small area in which you can crouch here. I could actually just run now because he stopped to light up a cigarette. Excellent. <laughs> Alright, let's do a hard save at this point. Oui. I'm trying. I'm trying to go close, but there is a problem here. This guy is watching him. The only way to execute my plan is to distract this guy with a pack of cigarettes. At your service. So I'm going to have to time my movements very carefully right now. Let's see what the patrol is. As I said, this is the critical, the most critical part for succeeding fast with my plan. So we will wait until the opportunity arises, until the moment is perfect. Which is as soon as these guys turn their back, I'm gonna distract this guy with a pack of cigarettes, maybe over here. And while he goes to retrieve that cigarette, I'm gonna go and take this guy's uniform. Now we're quite close now, so be on the ready as far as I can the cigarette pack so that I have ample time Going there. unfortunately he cannot see it over there so we'll have to run it again there is a slight uh, elevation change here that's why he cannot see it so we'll have to let's actually do a test man there's a lot of guys seeing it let's run a few tests See when we can throw this cigarette pack. Oh man! I could just throw it over here. And he's probably gonna see me there. So I have to be very fast. Oh man! All right, throw it and go, go! Come on! All right now we're on the clock. Quickly give him a second shot. Tie him up. Tie him up, I say. Come on. Oh, Jesus, he's taking too much time. Yeah, it's not gonna go well. 
Well, we managed, but you see, they saw me for a brief second there. Thankfully, it wasn't enough. And we get a cigarette pack as well, which is crucial. All right, now we got a uniform. Now this is probably the most difficult part of the plan. Successful. Let's go ahead and do a hard save. So now, the only guy we need to worry about now that we have an officer's uniform is going to be this uh, Gestapo guy with the black uniform. He's the only one who can really spot me. I'm thinking we're gonna have to wait for him to do a full rev or could I sneak here? Let's see. Okay. I don't need to run anymore. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Since we're here, we might as well do another part of the plan that would come into play at some point. Now, the objectives don't state it yet, but at some point you're going to have to bring over the Green Beret in order to activate a radio, right? And the Green Beret is the only one who can do this. So you might as well try and work with the Green Beret from the start. Now, the Green Beret is a very, in a very non-advantageous position here. He's kind of surrounded by enemies all the way. And his only escape route is kind of blocked with multiple enemies. So it's not going to be very easy to do this. But it is doable because you can see this little patch here. You can use that to dive into the river. All the river, all the way to the shore right next to our, uh, to our spy here. A few interesting things. There's a sniper here overlooking this exact patch. So timing is going to be heavily involved. We're going to have to move quickly to avoid his gaze. And obviously there's a soldier here overlooking the entire thing. I'm thinking this is the guy that we need to distract with the spy. So we might as well go and do that right away. Hopefully the patrol, yeah, the patrol, I hope they can't see us here. Because they do turn around somewhere there. That's, that's probably too far. Let's distract this guy. Yeah. And now the difficult part is actually bringing over the green berry okay. without anybody seeing him. Uh -huh. There's probably going to be a few uh -huh. close calls in doing this. Piece of cake. Uh -huh. Okay, down now. Maybe can hide here for a while while this guy is watching. Oh, this is very close. <laughs> but I'm gonna make it stick at some point, you'll see. You just have to be patient. Go your way, sir. Alright, now I'm thinking I'm gonna be outside his Okay. Cone vision there. Nice. So we can start building some distance from this guy. Uh -huh. So that he doesn't see us when he comes back for uh -huh. his patrol route. Alright, now this guy. So you can see we're kind of uh -huh. going between multiple enemies here. Okay. And in the end, we succeed. So I told you this is doable, but a lot of close calls along the way. All right now. Moin. Moin. The difficult parts are not over yet. Good. There is this guy that we will have to circumvent. Good. He's overlooking this entire area, so you cannot actually avoid him, but. You're gonna see, you can dive actually right underneath his gaze and avoid him that way. So I'm gonna go as close as I can Moin. while keeping the dive symbol still there. Good. Now that seems as close as we can go. And now we dive. We need to go forward quite a bit. 
Let's actually go all the way to the shore. We do have an oxygen bar here, so keep attention to that as well. Thankfully, the green berry seems to have a lot of oxygen, which is nice. Uh, you can come back up, buddy. All right, now. Now the sniper. Moin. Now hold it there. Let's go right to the edge of the sniper's vision. Let's give it one more try. And now run. Excellent. And now we get the okay. services of one Mr. Greenberry. Yes. This is very nice. Definitely a good spot to do a hard save. We. Oui. All right. Now you do not need to concern yourself with the outside area, outside of the castle. That is. What I'm doing here is just bringing uh, the rest are. of the team into the fold. Now, let's see. Let's wait for the patrol to leave one more time. Allez. Huh? And then it might be, it might come as a surprise to you, but this area is actually not watched by anybody else. Well, you got to be careful about this guy, but we can go operate on his backside. So let's wait for the patrol to go. Let's have both of our commandos standing. I'm going to try to quickly duck into the church to avoid that patrol. Right away, sir. Ready, now, both sir. of you, if you please. So see, this is what I was talking about, this being a uh, more of a surgical operation. Let's go. In stark contrast to the previous episodes where we just killed everybody. I right, know this guy. He cannot see us. Let's keep an eye on him still. That's fine. Right, now we should go. And we should try to duck into the church quickly. On my way. Church is a safe place. There's a few people here. Nobody care about the Germans though, so we're good. Yeah. Now make sure to exit with the green bear crouched. Because there is a soldier right there overlooking our position. Alright, so now. Let's go. I'm gonna bring the green berry and leave him here. This is a safe, kind of a safe spot. Nobody can see him crouched over there. And our spy is going to try and retrieve the rest of our squad now. Mainly the driver. We do have the sniper as well, but he's not very useful for this part of the mission. So I'm going to ignore him for the time being. Let's just go and save the driver first. So the driver is stranded over here, right? There's a few watchful eyes. Mainly this guy is going to be a problem. At your service. First things first, though. Oui. Let's dispose of this one. Now nah, he's just inside his vision, so I'm gonna have to wait for him to do this one more time. Because you saw, when he ends his route, right over here, he's outside this guy's vision, so... At your service. Excellent, that's the spot that I want. All right. Now the driver. Can do his thing. You might be wondering why I'm using both the driver and the green bear at this point My of turn. the game. It's mainly because while well, the green bear is, uh, can actually kill people, so this is one safety measure. Better to kill them than uh, leave them tied up like this guy. And the driver has a lot of cocktails, plus an extra pack of cigarettes maybe. And the mold of cocktail is gonna come in very in handy. When we have to rescue the uh, the thief. Yes. First things first, though. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Covered a few enemies in this area, but nobody's looking at this pass. This is going to uncomplicate matters quite a bit. Let's bring the driver as much 
over there as we can. Oh, hold on. Yes. Ah, uh, there you go. And now we'll have to clear a path for the driver. This guy stands in our way, first things first. So I'm gonna try. Okay. Is the patrol near? No. We're fine. I'm gonna try to steer him towards an area where nobody can see. This is a very classic commander's trick. You can use this trick on lower ranking enemies. Stop them, talk to them multiple times, step by step, move them to a location that you deem advantageous. So we're gonna do this one more time, I think. This time, behind the building where nobody can see him. Uh, right against the wall, maybe. Assume position behind him so that he faces the other way because this is the way I'm gonna try and bring the driver to kill him. Okay. Alright, and after we escape this guy's vision, I think we can even walk. Nobody's watching this area, as I told you. Remember not to run, obviously. My turn. Well, we might as well get the guns, why not? Alright, so now, now we'll need to clear this area over here, because this is going to be our entry point into the castle. There's a few more, but this is, uh, I think this is the best one. Has worked in uh, multiple times that I played this game. So we're gonna have to clear these four enemies. First things first. Let's make the driver duck yeah, down. Aware, so. This guy I'm not gonna bother with at all. He's a non-factor. Right, so the driver, bring him here. Well, the driver is quite slow though. Well, thankfully the patrol has just begun doing the circle of the church, so we're fine. Okay. And then start cleaning enemies one by one. Okie dokie. First things first. Whomever looks at this guy, which actually seems to be nobody. That is interesting. I'm ready. All right, let's just straight up kill him then, if that's the case. No need to make a fuss about this. Come on, Mr. Barry. All right, now I'm gonna dump his body here. Sneaky little trick. Uh, staircases are very useful for dumping bodies because they exist on a uh, intermediate elevation plane, right? So somebody who's over here cannot see it. And obviously people who are over there can't see it because the wall blocks their vision. So it's kind of a perfect spot sometimes, staircases. It's me, sir. Let's bring the driver here as well. Huh? And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to drive somebody of the enemies maybe over this place. This place is a kind of a dead zone, visually. Always ready. Always ready. So I could... Let's wait for this guy to come closer. Oh, he's actually not coming on his own. Hold on. We I have to force this. All right, go check over there, please. Okay. All right, let's be close to him so that we can catch him as soon as he tries to leave. And then we'll direct him over here. Uh. Hopefully nobody can see him there. Obviously make sure to catch his attention again. Now this guy shouldn't be able to see him, right? Yes, just outside his vision cone. Ready, sir. The green bear can continue killing people. Good.
Hit. I think this deserves another hard save here. Since we're making good progress. What? And now, oh, where is the officer gone actually? Interesting. He's over there. I did not know that. I'm going to distract this guy, however. Yeah. And let's use this uh, to our advantage, get into oh position, yeah. because the officer is going to come back to this place at some point. There he goes. Agreed. So I think we can just safely go behind him. Good. <laughs> Easy peasy. No need to hide bodies anymore. I think nobody can see them over here. I might just make a new body pile just to be on the safe side. The less body piles, the better, though. Keep that in mind. All right, and now... It's me, sir. Ready, sir. Now we're ready to proceed. Let's get into the castle. All right. I think we can even run at this section. There should be nobody overlooking it. This is why I'm uh, calling this the best entry point, probably, yes. possibly. Here we right, are. These two will have to go crouched, because as soon as we enter, we're gonna be in the vision of this guy. <laughs> 